So let me tell you how Hadoop came to be. About 10 years ago, in around 2003, I was working on an open source web search engine called Nutch. And we knew it needed to be something very scalable because the web was you know, billions of pages, uh, terabytes, petabytes of data that we needed to be able to process. And we set about you know, doing the best job we could. Uh, and it was tough. We got things up and running on four or five machines, uh, not very well. And uh, around that time, Google published some papers about how they were doing things internally. Published a paper about their distributed file system, TFS, uh, and about their processing uh, framework, MapReduce. So my partner and I, at the time, in this project, uh, Mike Caffarella, set about trying to re-implement these in open source so that more people could use them than just folks at Google. Took us a couple years, and we had Nutch up and running on, instead of four or five machines, on uh, 20 to 40 machines. Uh, it wasn't perfect. It, was, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't totally reliable, uh, but it worked. And we realized that to get it to the point where it would scale to thousands of machines and be as bulletproof as it needed to be would take more than just the two of us working part time. Around that time, Yahoo approached me and said they were interested in investing in this. So I went to work for Yahoo in January of 2006. First thing I did there was we took the parts of Nutch that were a distributed computing platform and put them into a separate project, a new project christened Hadoop. Over the next couple of years, with uh, Yahoo's help and the help of others, uh, we took Hadoop and really got it to the point where it did scale to petabytes and running on thousands of processors and doing so quite reliably. Uh, it spread to lots of companies, uh, in mostly in the internet sector, and became quite a success. Uh, after that, we, we started to see a bunch of other projects grow up around it. And Hadoop's grown to be the kernel of a, um, what's pretty much an operating system for big data. Uh, we've, got, we've got tools that um, uh, allow you to uh, more easily do uh, MapReduce programming. Uh, so uh, you can develop using uh, SQL or a, a data flow language called PIG. Uh, and we've also got the beginnings of a higher level um, uh, tools. We've got uh, interactive SQL with Impala, we've got search, uh, and so we're really seeing this develop to being uh, a general purpose platform for data processing uh, that scales much better and that is much more flexible than anything uh, that's, that's else that's out there.